We're going to take a quick look into this Breaking Barriers template here. Uh, this is the template I created for our high school track team. And in the template, what it comes with is when you first open it, depending on if you also purchase the Memory Mate and individuals, you'll have a few different JPEGs there along with the Photoshop documents. All of them include the sample shots of how I set up and pose my athletes just in case you need it and also a lighting diagram for you to show you how I lit my subjects. Uh, if I open up this Photoshop document, let me slide the layers over here. There's a text layer that you can shut off and adjust anything within that text layer that you need. I'm going to shut that off for now and uh, just look at the actual image. In this uh, Breaking Barriers template, what I've done with it is that I've created a, a concrete layer with a mask on it, as you see right here. And if you click on the mask and you draw on it, I'm gonna draw with a select brush, and paint with a black brush on this layer, it's going to adjust what is showing up or how much concrete shows up there. If you make it harder, there's a little bit of glow going on there. The harder the, the brush, the less glow that it will show up. So you can adjust this in case you have athletes that you want to make standing on a ledge over here. Whatever, all I'm doing is painting and it disappears. If I want to bring some back, I'm going to paint with the white. So I'm switching my the white there. And I'm going to bring this back at 100% with a little bit fully hard brush here. Leave a little bit like holes in it if you want to, and do whatever. It's it's fully adjustable here. And so on this, I brought the brought like the the, the concrete down around this athlete's hand, so it looks like he is hold pushing up on it. I made a ledge here for them to sit on. I'll put up their put their feet up on. You can adjust it higher, or lower, however you need that for your own subjects. Also a quick little thing here on the fire, you can adjust the fire also to uh, to put it in different areas or move it around. Paint on the mask with a white brush this time to make it appear. And I would suggest a, a fog or smoke brush so that it's, you know, it has those soft edges. You can paint the fire wherever you need it into there. Coming, coming into those athletes or coming up onto the smell a little more. If you just paint with a solid color brush here, it's going to uh, have those a little bit harder edges. Obviously, if I made it softer, but it's still going to be a circle. I kind of like the randomness of the fog and smoke brushes using it here. And then to take it off, paint with a black brush. And I would suggest again using this fog and smoke brush to take it off too, so that gives it that little more randomized edges. A few other adjustments that you can make on this. Obviously, the athletes are removable. There's two different layers on this one of the athletes. One, the first athlete layer is the guys that are in front of this concrete wall. So that's going to be those three guys. And the rest of them are the guys that are standing within that structure. Uh, there's also a layer for that hazard tape and a texture that goes across there to give it a little bit more vintageness there that you can shut off and on if you need it or don't need it. One other quick little tip. If you look up here on this little yellow sticky note that's showing up currently, uh, there's some tips and suggestions if you click on it. So I'm going to click on it and I'll bring up this and for this one it just says there's a concrete layer paint with hard small brush to, to chisel the edges softer brush will give you a dusty look and then a fire layer that use smoke or fog brushes to paint on the mask on the fire layer to reveal or hide the fire if when you open up the document if you don't see any guides in there if they're hidden you can hit control or command H and those should pop up along with uh, depending on the template, most of them do have a tips and suggestions, a little note there that you can click on.
Let's look quickly into a couple other things in this, included in the full version of this Breaking Barriers. Let's look into the individual here really quickly. The individual has all the same options there. So if you open up this, it has the, the fire layer where you can paint on the fire mask here and also the concrete layer. Also, here's the sample athlete where you put your own athlete into this layer. You'd be able to adjust those. You can even, for example, if their school initial was a W, we can make a W in there. You can do whatever you wanted to with this, this adjustable concrete layer. It's pretty, pretty fun what you can accomplish with that. Let's drop a different athlete in here just to show you how that would work. So I am going to have selected this athlete, grab a new athlete, drop her into there, and remove my sample athletes, and then resize to your desired size. It can be as easy as that if you want to. Otherwise, of course, you can add more fire or change the layout of that concrete. And you can see how this template can work for a lot of different teams. It could easily go for a volleyball or basketball or football team. It doesn't have to be just a track team for breaking barriers or you can simply change this theme up to smashing our opponents or whatever you come up with. They, they don't have to stick with the same theme as what I currently have. Come up with your own, make it yours, and have some fun with it.